Great, man. I'm happy, happy celebrating his birthday with y'all. Come on. Um, as you guys know, every time we pray, we start off praying for our brothers and sisters who are serving in ministry with us. We're praying for other pastors. So, uh, God, we thank you for the day. Thank you for love. Thank you for joy. Thank you for peace. Thank you for grace. My prayer today is for Pastor Mark Deering III at Epicos Church. Uh, we pray for Pastor Aaron Robbins at Compel Church. We pray for Pastor Robert Bell at Life Church. And we pray for Pastor Devern Suggs at Christ Temple Church. Father, we pray for these men and women of God. We speak that they are the head and not the tail, that they are above and not beneath, that they are lenders and not the borrowers. God, we thank you, God, that they are getting ready to experience the best year of ministry that they've ever experienced. We call in resources. We call debt freedom over their ministries right now in the name of Jesus and we pray that souls will come in from the north, south, east and west to give their life to Jesus in their ministries now God we believe the prayer of Job God that when we pray something for our friends God that you're getting ready to do the same thing for us so we speak, God, the same blessing, the same favor, the same oil that we pray on them. God, let us experience the same thing. God, you've been faithful to us. And so, Father, we just want to take this moment after six years to say thank you. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for the battles you've won. Thank you for the victory you've given us. Thank you for when the enemy thought he was going to destroy us and he couldn't. Thank you for every plan of the enemy being destroyed. Thank you that we've seen thousands upon thousands of people come to Jesus. Thank you that miracle signs and wonders have happened. Thank you that cancer is healed, that sickness is healed, that illness, ailments, and diseases are destroyed. Thank you that the blood of Jesus is appropriate for every moment. God, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. God, the blood of Jesus that heals the sick, the blood of Jesus that raises the dead, the blood of Jesus that destroys every plan of the enemy. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We declare the blood of Jesus right now in this moment. We declare the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over this church, the blood of Jesus over your people, the blood of Jesus in every single moment. Everything the enemy thought he could put his hands on, we declare the blood of Jesus. Everything the enemy thought he could destroy, we declare the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over our families, the blood of Jesus over our bodies, the blood of Jesus over our marriages, the blood of Jesus over our relationships, the blood of Jesus over our children, the blood of Jesus over our minds, the blood of Jesus over our health, the blood of Jesus over our heart, the blood of Jesus over this church. We declare the blood of Jesus and that we can see you moving in every single way. Have your way in this church. That's my only prayer in Jesus' name. Let's just worship. Come on for just 60 seconds. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you. Thank you for the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood that washed us clean as snow. These are they which have been dipped in the blood of the Lamb. And now they're pure in Jesus' name. You can be seated if you can. Woo. The glory. Hallelujah. Oh, man, today's been good, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. We give you our Lord. Come on. Come on, one more time. We give you all the glory. Come on. We give you all the glory. For bringing us this far. Jehovah, 
we weren't supposed to make it this far, but they said we wouldn't last one year, but here we are six years later. They said, who will build a church to bring young people to Jesus? Who in their right mind will start a church to bring young people to Jesus? They said that won't work in Milwaukee. Young people don't want God. Young people don't want to be saved. Young people don't want to learn about Jesus. Well, here we are, 4,500 people later, showing the world young people really do love God. Young people really do love Jesus. Young people really want to have a relationship with the Creator. God, the ones they counted out, you counted in. The ones they gave up on, you never let go of. Thank you for being a good, good father. So good. So good. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. be seated. Don't mind her. There's just somebody that knows if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I would have been. Thank God for this church. This church was a refuge for some people. This church was the last hope for some people. Some people had given up on church and Evolve was the last option they had. They said, if this ain't it, I don't think I'll ever go back. Thank God for creating a well and rivers in the desert. Thank God for big water and the dry and thirsty land. Thank God for being warmth in a cold place. Thank God. I feel God in this moment, I'm telling you. Eyes have not seen, ears haven't heard. God not even done, that's the crazy part. We thanking God for what he's done so far, but God is saying this is just the beginning. You can't even imagine where I'm getting ready to take you. You can't even imagine the things I'm getting ready to do in your life. You can't even imagine the doors I'm getting ready to open. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's the sound of grateful people. That's what happens when you come back to say thank you. That's what happens when you get the blessing and you remind yourself, if God didn't do this for me, I wouldn't have it. I'm coming back to say thank you. I'm the one that's coming back to say thank you.
wow 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 i'm trying to i'm trying to push past but i can't ignore i can't ignore god I feel a very, I feel a very open-ended invitation of God right now. Usually it's very specific, but I don't feel that. I feel that, that there are people in here, and you're not even expecting this, but inside of you there's a cry. There's a cry for God to feel this void. There's a cry for God to feel this void inside. Not the one that people can see, the, the one you've gotten really good at hiding. You do all the stuff. You, you come to church. You try to be better, but there's a there's a void internally, and uh, I just I want to I want to pray for you really quickly. If that's you, just uh, just come really quickly. Let me pray for you. If you if if I'm speaking to you, if that what I just said was you, there's a void in there. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just come on. Just really quickly. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. God heard you. God heard you. Wow. God. Wow. Wow. I need, I need my intercessors to start, start stretching your hands out. If you can... I'm getting ready to speak this over you. Hey, media team, can you can you give me a scripture? It's uh, I think it's Numbers, the sixth chapter, the last four verses. I want to speak this over you. I'm getting ready to pray, but I'm getting, I want to speak this over you. Number six and 22. Do you have the ability to put that on the screen? Verses 22 through 27. Do, do, do you know that God interrupted this service for you right now? Hear me, hear me. If you're standing up here, God did not want you to come into the church with this void and to leave with this still. If we were to be honest, I, I've never asked people to, to raise their hands, but we want to be transparent because many of you, by show of hands, you've come to church before with that emptiness and left with that same emptiness. By show of hands. Wow. All right, intercessors, start praying. We're getting ready to pray. 
I'm going to read this scripture over you as I pray over you. That the Lord said he's speaking a special blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May God show you favor and give you his peace. Father, I pray over your sons and daughters right now in the name of Jesus for many of them that come up here, God, just saying, I'm honest, God, I, I've served, I, I do all, all that I can, but still I feel sometimes that there's a void almost, like there's, a, there's this silent emptiness that I don't ever really discuss with anybody. And I just try to be good. And I think that if I just keep being good, if I just keep showing up, if I just keep serving, that I'll be fine. But God, this void, this hole, this emptiness it seems as if it simply won't leave. But God, you interrupted service today, God, so that 500, 600 people can come have this void that's been there for so long, finally be eradicated and feel. For God, you do not want us to have a life of scarcity. You want us to be filled. You didn't just say have the Holy Spirit. You said be filled with the Holy Spirit. And so Father I thank you that as you come Jesus that they might have life and that more abundantly. That the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to fill them. Fill the, the voids and the crevices and spaces God where there's been silent emptiness. God some of them have lost lost some things and they tried to keep going and keep running and just pretend that everything will be okay but God we have a moment of just been real this morning we just been real and saying God we need you to feel the void feel us Jesus fill us to overflow 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 I rebuke loneliness Loneliness and, and, and dark loneliness. God, when many of them, when they get home, they feel alone. They're fine as long as they're in the company of people. But it's when they get by themselves. It's when they get alone. There's an emptiness. God, you can see it. God, that they have not been able to host your presence. I pray, God, that they would host you. That they would know what it is to dwell with you. As David declared, one thing have I designed of the Lord, and that will I seek after, to behold the beauty of the Lord. I want to dwell in this temple. I pray, Lord God, that we would dwell, that we would live with you, that you would reside, that you will reside. I dare you to lift your hands in 